All right, what's up everybody? Dan the bodybuilder from Thailand here at Muscle Beach, Venice, California. Gonna do a workout. Uh, they're remodeling it, so it's one of the last days that it's going to stay like this. And then it's going to be a different setup. Not authentic the way it's always been since Arnold trained here. So, it's one of the last days to get this in here. Dan, the bodybuilder in Thailand, living the SoCal, uh, Southern California bodybuilding lifestyle.
All right, you guys, so I just got done here with my uh, my workout at Muscle Beach, Venice. And you see those guys over there behind the bench press. They're doing a Del Taco commercial. So after they saw me doing my workout, they just now recruited me to uh, be the bodybuilder for their commercial. So I ate their vegetarian taco and uh, it was tasty. It was a Del Taco taco and it didn't taste like it was vegetarian so you're looking for me in the del taco commercial and uh yeah this is the weight pit the one that arnold schwarzenegger worked out at in the 60s and 70s so i had a good workout here today it's uh <laughs> it's kind of like a, a zoo animal in here you know because you got or like a an exhibitionist dream now, I can't believe that Tony Huge hasn't worked out here because this is, uh, you know, he's such an exhibitionist. Show off. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of people walking by watching people, a uh, little bit of heckling. Good thing I'm a YouTuber and I'm used to all that. But uh, that was a good workout, good day here. Muscle Beach, Venice. Yeah, so walking down Venice Beach now, you guys, this really is the uh, epitome of the Southern California lifestyle. So I'm heading towards the skate park up here. If you guys ever did skateboard, there's these little areas like this right here. Rodney Mullen, he's the guy who invented the kickflip and a bunch of other tricks. He has some videos, some classic videos of this place. Um, skateboarding so yeah this place is like the definition of the Southern California lifestyle and uh, the whole place smells like cannabis so here's the skate park um, you guys want to hear something funny is since I was so into skateboarding when I was in uh, middle school and high school uh, but now I'm you know jocks and skateboarders don't get along now I look like a jock, but I used to not. I used to be a skateboarder and look like one. So, uh, when I was a skateboarder, people used to uh, drive past the skate park and, you know, they'd shout, skate or die, or do a kickflip. And, you know, everybody at the skate park would all raise their middle fingers up and be flipping them off as they drove by. They'd always be like the football players in high school. After I stopped skateboarding, uh, me and my friends who were skaters, we all said, uh, hey man, let's drive by the skate park and, and shout skate or die. So we used to, for fun, when we were bored, we started driving past the skate park and screaming at them, skate or die. And it was the same thing that they, we used to do to the guys who yelled that at us. They, all their middle fingers would go up at us in unison. It's freaking hilarious. Actually, I remember too, uh, another funny memory of the first time, what the hell? Another funny memory I have is the first time that I saw someone smoking weed was at the skate park. I went to the skate park with my friend from high school who was super good. And when we got there, there was an older guy smoking a joint. And my friend from high school asked him if he could take a drag of it and he took this humongous lungful and then pointed his mouth straight up into the air and expelled this massive cloud of smoke and he looked like a dragon and then he sped off and did a fakie 360 over the pyramid <laughs> i was like what the hell man i'd never smoked before and uh and i saw him do that and I was like, what the hell is this? Now, obviously, it was very experienced at 15 years old or whatever. That looks like a good ice cream shop.
got to get this shot. Can you believe how stereotypical this place is? I'm telling you, I'm smelling right now as I'm walking like the most potent, pungent cannabis I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> oh, it's because of the, it's because of the people in front of me. Okay, now this makes more sense. Yeah, I think that their dog is high too. It's walking all sideways. Thank <laughs> you.